the vitamin is really important for our bodies because it helps regulate the amount of calcium and phosphate in the body. This is necessary for keeping bones and teeth healthy. If you or someone you care for is in a higher risk group they may need to take vitamin D supplements. You can't take vitamin D supplements as tablets, liquid, or a spray, and they can be bought in a pharmacy. Multiple studies have suggested that a vitamin D deficiency can cause several symptoms in your mood. These can include anxiety, low mood, and feelings of depression. There has been research examining the relationship of vitamin D to seasonal affective disorder SAD, schizophrenia, and depression. If you are concerned you have a vitamin D deficiency it is a good idea to speak to a doctor. Statin Side Effects The common symptoms you should know around 20% of adults may have low vitamin D status, and there are several main risk factors for vitamin D deficiency. Symptoms can include muscle aches and weakness, waddling gait, chronic widespread pain or bone pain in lower back, pelvis and foot. Falling short of the required amount could weaken immune defenses, and if low levels are left untreated discomfort may also arise. In April 2020, the NHS issued a statement, based on recommendations from Public Health England PHE, that we should all consider taking 10 micrograms slash day vitamin D as a supplement, to keep our bones and muscles healthy. Flu, the popular supplement which can cut your risk, insight vitamin D deficiency symptoms, 6 most common signs, signs. This advice has been issued now, largely because of the restrictions imposed by quarantine and lockdown. Nonetheless, the NHS says that in the summer months, the majority of the population will get enough vitamin D through exposure to sunlight and a healthy, balanced diet. Between October and early March, the health body says we do not make enough vitamin D from sunlight, so you need to get vitamin D from your diet. Around 20% of adults may have low vitamin D status, and there are several main risk factors for vitamin D deficiency. This advice has been issued now, largely because of the restrictions imposed by quarantine and lockdown. Nonetheless, the NHS says that in summer months, the majority of the population will get enough vitamin D through exposure to sunlight and a healthy, balanced diet. Between October and early March the health body says we do not make enough vitamin D from sunlight, so you need to get vitamin D from your diet. Around 20% of adults may have low vitamin D status, and there are several main risk factors for vitamin D deficiency. However people cannot overdose on vitamin D through exposure to sunlight. The NIH says that few foods naturally contain vitamin D. The flesh of fatty fish such as trout, salmon, tuna, and mackerel and fish liver oils are among the best sources, it states. Mushrooms provide variable amounts of vitamin D2, which may be a good option if you are vegan.